Sprawlopolis, a wallet-sized game. I don't have a, wall, a pocket to put this in. This is the sequel to Sprawlopolis and Agropolis. Um, it is a, eh, you could play multiple players, but this is essentially a solo game uh, in which you're going to put out some cards. You're going to, uh, well, you know, I'll just show you. Naturopolis uses a deck of 18 cards. These cards are going to have different terrain types on them. So you can see the different terrain types. And there's also roads and rivers. And finally, each one has somewhere on it a campsite. So you can see they have all four terrain types. They're just going to be in different spots. You're going to start with one. And as the game goes by, you're going to add more. You can put them on top. You, you can just attach them together, but you can't put a road connect it to a river, but I could put that one there, and I could put this one here if I want to. I could put that one there. As long as I don't have a road running into a river, I am forming basically my play area. So you're always going to have three cards to pick from when you're playing this game. Now, at the beginning of the game, you're going to be building a 15 of your 18 cards because three of your cards you're going to turn over and these three cards are going to be your scoring cards. Now there's a couple things. First of all, these three numbers are added together. That's your total score that you're trying to get. I need 22 points. You're going to have a base score. You're going to pick your largest group of each type. So this is not a very good setup, but my largest forest is two. My largest mountains is three. My largest pink is one. My largest water is one. So I'd add those together. Then you subtract two points for each road because this is Naturopolis. We don't want any many roads in there. And then you'll score for each of these. So for example, this one scores one point for each lake group that's connected to at least one road or river. But I lose two for each lake group that's not connected to road or river. So this one's not connected. This one is connected. This one's not connected. That one's not connected. So I'm losing six points and only getting one. So this one's losing me five points. This one gives me three points for a straight river section directly between two adjacent lake blocks. And all of these are going to have different things. Some of them have to do with rivers. A lot of them have to do with rivers, actually. Some of them have to do with campsites. This one here is having groups of mountains. And you're going to have a different combination of three each time. And then you'll be using the other ones to build your area. If you're playing with multipliers, you have three. You'll pass to the next person. They'll draw one. But that's how you play the game. So I struggled with the rating for this game because I like it a lot. I like Sprawlopolis. I think Sprawlopolis is fun. I liked Agripopolis. I gave both of them 8.5. But I'm only giving this one an 8. And I'll tell you why. Because, well, it's the same thing. I don't know. I mean, I can't keep getting that excited about these. This one's slightly different. That roads are minus 2 points instead of 1 like the base game. And obviously there's different ways to score in them. I, thought, I felt like the ways to score in this... Feels like it's slightly a little more convoluted, but it's still fun. And I almost exclusively play this solo. Playing it with more, multiple people, you're basically just playing a cooperative solo game. But I like the idea. It's small, it's portable, looks fine. It's yeah. The, the worst thing I can say about it is I don't I don't need to own this. Like I own Sprawlopolis, and when you had a Grig a Grigopolis, sorry, you can mix those together, and I think you can mix this with them too. But really, how many of the same game do you need? And at a certain point, why? Maybe you just maybe you've run the other one into the ground, I suppose. But if you've never played Sprawlopolis or Agropolis before, then you should get this. It's a great game. Or Sprawlopolis. I like the city theme a little bit better than the nature theme, at least when I'm building cards out there. But either way, still a fun little game.